I've had several students ask me about the 15 degree increments. First, I want to point off that when you number your 15 degree increments, you're going in order from 0 to 180. And all you're doing when you're creating these is using your two triangles to create specific angles. So we all know that if we line up a right angle, we have a 90 degree angle. Okay, but what they don't think about is that you can use the triangle in both directions to get specific measurements. So I can bring it out to the left, flip it over, and make sure all of your points start at the center point A. Okay, now we're going to see what measurements I can get over here, going the opposite direction. I apologize, my desk is creaking. So, so far, I've just used my 30, 60, 90 triangle, and I've created one, two, three, four, five of our necessary angles. With my 45 degree angle on its own, I can create a 90 degree angle, but I can also do 45 degrees in each of the other directions. Okay, I'm looking at this line right here. I need to erase that, move that over. So know that this would be incorrect because it's not right at the center of A. So if you've lost a point or a half point, that's probably because you're not going directly to the center point. Okay. So now I've got the simple angles to create. And in order to create your 15, your 75, your 105, and your 65, they've given you some examples at the top of your page on how to do that. I'm going to show you a couple of quick tricks involving your two angles. So first of all, a 75 degree angle dun, 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 okay, is when you add your 30 and your 45 together. I can use this to create a 105 degree angle by turning it in this orientation and if I flip the whole situation over that 90 degree angle, now I'm going at a 75 degree angle. All I did was change the orientation of these triangles. Additionally, if I turn everything at this angle, okay, so I just turned everything 90 degrees, when I have it sitting down on top of my, um, <laughs> I'm losing my mouth words. When I have it sitting on top of my parallel bar, okay, I've now created a, 50, a 165 degree angle, or you could look at it as a 15 degree angle. So I'm going to scoot this line down and project that out. Turn everything around. And bring that up. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to go back and I'm going to erase this line right here and try it again so that the line is starting at the very center of point A. And then I'm very nicely, neatly going to number is from zero degrees all the way over to 180.